Today we're going to be talking to Ian Longworth from Clearwater Hampers. So Ian, tell me what your business does. We pick, pack and dispatch hampers. Hampers are food and wine gifts and we sell those around the world. We are fortunate enough to have hamper.com, which is a fantastic uh, web domain name. Food and wine gifts are very popular Christmas gifts, and that means therefore that a high proportion of our business takes place at Christmas time. Um, but more and more we are selling um, gifts at other times of the year for anniversaries, for Valentine's Day, uh, for Mother's Day, for Easter. Um, they are ideal gifts for any, any, any event. Um, but most of our activities at Christmas. And you operate in a number of markets. Uh, presumably the domestic market is important to you, but you do have overseas markets as well. Yes, we, apart from uh, owning hamper.com uh, and selling a proportion, therefore, directly off the, uh, off the internet, which orders come from all the way around the world, we do sell directly to companies and to organisations who may want to give uh, a gift to their staff or to their suppliers, or maybe even to their bank manager um, to thank them that they helped that they might have given to them um, during a year or at, any, or, or at any time. We also receive orders from gift agents who may be in the UK or may be overseas and also through stores. Um, we now do hampers for Tesco's um, and we have uh, gift agents and stores overseas. And particularly we receive orders from what are expat territories in Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, from the Gulf, Canada. Uh, and that will be orders that have been placed very often by people who've gone to live in those countries and are sending gifts back to their friends and relatives in the UK. And what proportion of your business is now online as opposed to direct telephone orders? More than half our business is online. And is, um, that, is that increasing? That's increasing, but it is, of course, highly competitive. Do you think that the UK economy um, is showing signs of growth um, and coming out of this recession as well? We can see that a lot of our corporate customers and contacts and over the 30 years of our business that goes back to 10,000 different organisations. We can see at the moment that they are willing to be spending uh, money on, on, on giving thank you presents to their staff. Um, and that has come back from, from, from right down the bottom in 2008 and 2009. So how many people do you have working here? For most of the year, we have about 20 um, staff uh, split between the warehouse and in the offices. At Christmas time, that can grow up to 100. Um, and that depends on the number of orders uh, that we have to pick, pack uh, and dispatch. And in terms of resourcing, is there an ample supply of workers for that additional busy time over, over Christmas for you? I think we've been very fortunate. We have got quite a number of people who come back to us to do temporary work before Christmas. That will include quite a lot of students um, or people who have recently graduated or recently left school um, and are very happy to come and work in quite a buzzy place for two, three or four months um, pick packing and dispatching hampers. What were the reasons for you deciding to come to Milton Park recently? We're a 30-year-old business. Um, we have grown almost year on year for that, for that period of 30 years. And we were operating from uh, a number of converted farm buildings, uh, which we had outgrown. And we were also renting quite a little bit of space from locations five miles away. And with a bit more growth, we wanted to be in one place and came to this Unit 36 at Milton Park, which gives us a lot of very good space and office space all integrated into one proper building um, and it suits us down to the ground. How do you see uh, the future of the economy for the Oxford region? Oxfordshire seems to be less affected than obviously some parts of the UK are. Um, being in an enterprise zone on Milton Park, there's a lot of activity going on and a lot of people here so one doesn't immediately see that we're in a recession atmosphere. Um, so I think my view from a narrow geographical perspective is that it looks not bad for Oxfordshire. What improvements would you like to see to the local infrastructure in the area here? I think they're pretty de good, um, both for physical communications by road, by rail, um, for local, uh, national and international travel. 
Um, and I think that's great for us, it's great for our staff, it's great and easy for our suppliers um, and also for the carriers that we're using who are taking all of our hamper parcels all the way around the UK. And finally, what are the three key challenges to your business over the next 12 months? I think the most important is, is for us to persuade our customers and our potential customers that they could buy a gift for people and they should buy gifts for people at any time of the year and not just at Christmas. Hampers are associated easily with Christmas um, or with uh, strawberries and cream uh, in the summer uh, which don't go through the post terribly well. Um, so we would like to persuade more and more people to think of buying a food and wine gift um, at other times of the year other than Christmas. Um, the secondly, I think, and it's slightly associated, that is to increase our export orders. Uh, Clearwater won the Queen's Award for Exports now six, seven years ago because so many of our orders actually come from overseas. And again, being an online and mail order business, this is perfectly set up for taking orders from overseas to help friends and family to send gifts to people in the UK. And I think our third main aim is really to carry on working at our technology um, and improving the technology because, as I've explained, we survive on data. Um, and the faster we can receive data, the faster we can send data, whether that's within our own building or to our suppliers and customers around the world, uh, the better it is. We can take orders at a later date to go out at a later time to be delivered more quickly um, and catching last minute gifts um, and last, last minute presents. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.